First at six, an exclusive interview with a relative of a little girl who says she was molested at a Tulsa daycare. Police tell us they are working to get all the kids enrolled at Tiny Tots, interviewed by a psychologist. This is the second time the same person at Tiny Tots has been accused of this, but the first time nothing happened. News on six crime reporter Lori Fulbright is on story. We are not identifying the woman because we are trying to protect the identity of her 11 year old relative who says she was sexually abused. She says the girl was playing with a relative and then tried to put that relative's hands down her pants. And when they asked the little girl, why did you do that? She told them that's what we do at daycare. At first, the woman thought the girl was talking about another child at Tiny Tots near 71st and Lewis. I thought she was talking about another kid, yes. So when you found out she was talking about adults who work at the daycare, what went through your mind? I called the police immediately. She says she also called the owner of Tiny Tots after learning the suspect was the owner's son. She just kept saying, I don't see how this is possible. There, she's never been left alone with them. I don't see how it's possible. She says the girl was interviewed by a forensic specialist and revealed details. She said he would do it in the dark room and when he was finished, he would let her play on his phone and told her that the only way that he could she could play on his phone is if she promised not to tell anyone it happened. She had no idea the same man at Tiny Tots had been accused of this before until she saw my news story earlier this week. At that time, two sisters said the man touched them, but no other children at the daycare did. So child welfare determined it was unsubstantiated and closed the case. Police say they won't know anything about whether they're going to make an arrest in this case until all the kids who are enrolled here are forensically interviewed. When I called Tiny Tots for a statement, they told me no comment. On the scene on the story in Tulsa, Lori Fulbright, News on 6.